Thanks for watching this short presentation from the Washington State Healthcare Authority's Health Information Technology Team. Even if you were not eligible for promoting interoperability, formerly the EHR Incentive Payment Program, you might find value in the resources created for the program. And links to all the resources mentioned in this video will appear in the description below. Let's start with a few key concepts. The High Tech Act which is a subset of the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009, authorized the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services to provide incentive payments to eligible professionals who adopt, implement, upgrade, or demonstrate meaningful use of certified electronic health record technology. There was a lot to unpack in that, so let's break down some key terms. Eligible professionals included ARNPs, dentists, hospitals, general practitioners, naturopaths, nurse midwives, optometrists, osteopaths, and physician's assistants. This means if you were not listed, then you did not qualify. Certified EHR technology refers to CMS and the Office of the National Coordinator for Health Information Technology established standards and other criteria for structured data that EHRs must meet in order to qualify for use in the Promoting Interoperability Program. Basically, this refers to EHR technology recognized by CMS and ONC. Meaningful use was defined by the use of certified EHR technology in such a way as to ensure such technology connects in a manner that provides for the electronic exchange of health information to improve the quality of care. In short, electronic data exchange is a good thing. In summary, the PI program provided funding to certain provider types that used ONC-recognized EHRs to improve care quality for clients. And you're probably asking why any of this matters if you don't qualify for incentives, and we'll talk about that next. A lot of really great resources sprang up out of the Promoting Interoperability program that could be used whether or not you were an eligible provider and links to everything that's talked about in this video are in the description below. And the next few slides are an overview of the information from healthit.gov, the official website of the Office of the National Coordinator for Health Information Technology. The ONC created a page describing EHR certification and a directory you can search to select certified EHRs. Certification is a way to ensure the EHR technology you invest in meets HHS requirements. The searchable directory is called CHPL, or CHAPL. It is a listing of all certified health information technologies that have been successfully tested and certified by the ONC Health IT Certification Program. The Clinical Quality and Safety page is all about making improvements. You can find advice on structuring your improvements by observing how things work, deciding what to tackle and when, then monitoring how things are progressing. The Health IT Resources page includes information about how to access your Medicare information from anyone from anywhere using Blue Button technology instructional modules, which have been used by more than 10,000 educators around the world to date, including the history of health IT, maintenance of health IT systems, management and leadership for health IT, and the culture of healthcare and more. The Health IT Playbook. This is where you can find strategies, recommendations, and best practices, extensively researched from a variety of clinical settings to help you find the support you need. Implementation resources. This is content submitted and rated by care communities. The Patient Engagement Handbook, a compilation of advice from providers where health IT and clients intersect. This page also includes archived information about the Million Hearts Campaign and community health learning programs. The How Do I section includes commonly asked questions from providers grouped into topic areas. Health IT and Health Information Exchange Basics. This section includes information on topics including what are the benefits of health IT for improving care? What is an EHR? How do EHRs benefit clinicians and clients? 
What is Health Information Exchange? And success stories from real-world cases. ONC's Cures Act Final Rule Page. Providers are able to comment on proposed rules before CMS decides whether to change parts of the proposed rule or adopt it as is. This is usually done once a year. Resources on this process are found on the final rule page. Now let's talk a little bit about the CMS.gov website. Through the CMS website, you can sign up for the CMS List Serve. From here, you can get regular updates on important information about the promoting interoperability programs. Subscribing to this listserv will keep you informed of program requirements and milestones, policy changes, upcoming events, answers to frequently asked questions, official resources, and more. Also on the CMS website is a list of current emergencies and guidance. The Medicaid and CHIP guidance section offers updates from as early as March 12, 2020. The subscription link appears in the description below. And lastly, HCA's very own EHR site has information on webinars, worksheets, instructions, tools, and tip sheets. Just check out the link below. And if you have any questions for the Healthcare Authority's Health Information Technology team, please feel free to contact us using the information on this page. And thanks for watching.